Hello everybody, it's Philip from MIU1405 and this is our week two video and we're going to talk about our prototype today and the main focus of this application is very simple it's just an admin application that would run to manage the users and things like that on the go instead of having to log into the web panel. So at the very beginning we have our landing screen here it's just a regular splash screen instead of throwing a user directly into the app they have to actually log in. We'll go ahead and click on log in here from here, they have three options. They can enter their username and password, or in this case, the admin key. They can click OK, they can click Cancel, and they can click Forgot Admin Key. Obviously, Forgot Admin Key is not something I can demo here as it links to a website, but clicking on that will take you to the website to recover your key. You can click on Cancel to return to the login screen. You can click on OK to progress to the next screen. Here is a nice little scroll panel that lists all of our animals and characters. From here, you have several options. You can log out, you can access game settings, or you can start editing animals. Let's go on the editing animal side of the house and we'll just choose an animal. It doesn't matter which one, they're all going to link to the same one right now for the purposes of this demo. We'll choose Joey here. Whenever we click on an animal, we get all of their basic details that are coming up. And these are the details that we can edit and change inside of the game. And I can always click cancel to return to the, the selection page. I can click on edit to continue the edit. And this is of course the edit screen. Forgive some of the text layout, the, the prototyper tool here kind of had some wonky issues on playback, but we still got it. From here, we can click on the text input boxes that we have right here to start editing text, or we can click on one of these numbers up here to change the values. So for example, we can come over here and click right here and start changing the text for that. And just like any other application, we can click outside of the keyboard to return to the previous page. I can click on a number to start changing the value for any of these items up here. We'll just say 46, for example, and now it's 46. I can click on save, nice big prominent button down here at the bottom, and uh, that'll take us back to the update page. Now obviously in this prototype I love grid layouts, they're one of my favorite things to use. Um, it is easy to understand the flow for this application when it's in this type of layout. And um, even in the confirmation screens that we have coming up, everything is laid out top to bottom, left to right, and the prominent buttons at the bottom so they can see the flow of information that maybe they need to add. And when it comes to adding new information, we can see that when we start accessing game settings. So we'll click game settings up here at the top. Here is all of our game settings. These are our zones that we get to edit. And um, if I can click on delete right here or new zone to add new zones, let's show what it's like to edit the forest zone here. And we have all of our information with left mentality here, top down content. We have our current data and values in case we change anything with the prominent button at down here at the bottom as well. So we'll click on an input field. There we are there. We could click outside of it to return to our selection. We can you know, change the plus and minuses all we want. Once we click on save, we're taken back here. Now I can click on delete. Boom. We delete an item from there. I can click on add new item. And from here, it's actually very simple. We're just filling out a basic form. Fill in the zone, fill in the damage, and there we go. We're good to go. Prominent button with just pertinent information. That is it, just pertinent only. And we can click on that. We do have navigation that can take us back. For example, we go there, takes us back. So our navigation does change based on where we are in the application. On the main screens, we're actually taken to the logout screen. And on our child screens, such as these, we're taken to a back right there. So the really cool thing is we really don't need a, a reason to have a logout feature and because um, they just need to go back to one of the root screens and they're done. They don't need to be in an edit screen and then they can directly log out. And so that in and of itself is our application. And um, it, that's basically all she was designed to do. All right, I hope you guys enjoy and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.